Okay, super fun one today, Laddie, A True Blue Story by Jean Stratton Porter. Uh, this is kind of big. Mine's kind of tallish, you can see, not, but not, you know, not the small paperback size. And it's almost 400 pages, so, you know, you're going to be spending a little bit of time in it. But the story really flows, and so it's an easy, well, except for, except for, um, I'll talk about that in a minute, except for a little bit of, of um, deviation. I'll explain that in a minute. So this is Jean Stratton Porter. She's the Limberlost author. And she loves nature. And it is this true story. She said it's about 70% true. True story of her childhood as seen through her eyes as a child in her family. So it's very fun. And um, she's very invested. And... She's telling all about these personalities, they're real people, her parents, her siblings, her experiences as a child. Um, but of course she loves nature and, and she emphasizes that in the book about how her parents let her stay home longer than the other children had, let her wander around their big farm and just be. And she felt like that was important for her. Her parents felt it was important for her and, and it played a big role in her later life. And so she understood the woods and she understood nature and she relished in it and so when I said the story really flows, except for the times when she goes off on nature. And um, especially the first time I read it, I've read it a few times, but the first time I read it, I was, got kind of stuck on that. And that, that was hard for me. Uh, she'll only do it for maybe two or three pages. And you probably could just read, like skimming, classic skimming skill, read the first um, sentence of the, of the paragraph and just skip. And so if she's not moving story forward and you're not super interested in hearing more about the farm or nature, you could just move on. Um, but anyway, it's about her family. Laddie is her big brother. She's on the very tail end. There were a bunch of siblings and then a big gap and then her. And this big brother is like a father figure to her and is very, very loving and patient and wonderful to her and their relationship is very a very a very sweet one, and um, there's some really fabulous themes. Education is a huge one, and I've seen it in education circles, homeschool circles, um, that it's really promoted because it's about all those traditional family values that a lot of homeschool families are about. Um, about and, and and there I know a lot of there's there are families who are like going back to the farm right I'm not going to do that I'm not about that but a lot of families are they feel like that's a great place to learn work ethic and nature and natural systems and cycles and that's wonderful but their family was all about that and Jean Tratton Porter loved it and she felt like she had this idyllic childhood and and there are problems there's a couple points where I'm like the mom lets some things happen between the siblings and she lets the si the older daughter beat beat Jean Stratton Porter up and I really took issue with I did there were a couple things that happened that I wasn't sure I agreed with but overall just a beautiful family and um, the father's very caregiving of the mother and patient with her and and she's human you know she wants to impress the neighbors but education is a huge theme education in the family and what the role of the family is in the education of their children and in the community also, the dad is governmentally involved, so what's happening governmentally enters the picture. Um, society and small towns and relationships and neighbors, those are all themes that, that go on in the book. Um, so it's, it's this romance between Laddie, and he's in love with these, this new neighbor that's moved in, but she sees herself, she's from Britain, and they're upper class, and she's too good for him. And so part of the story is Laddie trying to win her. And, and all the things, of course, that she says about Laddie are perfectionism, right? Like he's the embodiment of manhood. And manhood is another theme in the book. What is a man? What really makes a man a man? What makes a woman a woman? And those are good things to discuss in this book. But he's tall, and he's dark, and he's incredibly handsome, and he's hardworking, and he's, he's tactful, and diplomatic, and committed to God, and, and virtues. And there's a little bit of a division, because he's not quite as committed to the religious structure of his parents. He's very committed to God, and Christianity, and the value system. But there's a little bit of that going on between his parents. Um, but this little girl watches what goes on. There's, a, there's another romance with her big sister and what in the world's going to happen between them. So there's all these different romances going on, which creates a lot of interest. Also the dynamic of the girl at school, of, the of her going to school and how painful that is and what education should be. 
and the family dynamics and and one of the boys runs off and the parents are devastated and brokenhearted and how they appeal to God and their relationship with him all those things small town life Americana 1900s all of that are 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 themes very heartwarming ending to the story everything comes together and works out and and that's beautiful you love that so you walk away from it with this really great feeling you've been uplifted you've learned some important things you've faced di life difficulties that we all face and seen how this family dealt with them you've lived through the experiences of this little girl but the, the story does move pretty well along and um, she wrote this after she wrote some of her other books it was published she lived 1863 to 1924 and it was first published, I don't know, but um, this one's not given me an original publication. She would have been little in the 1870s, it would have, oh, 1917 is when it was first published, but she would have been little, um, born in 1863, so 1870s, 1880s is when this is taking place, and the value system of ownership, and the Georgics idea, you know, the the exaltation of the farmer and the farming life and being invested in the community and building community and what that means and what that looks like and, and the icons that they are in the community and how they help everyone. So it's very, very worth reading. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find a favorite quote here. Um, she says, Father said no prayer would bring an answer unless you took hold and pulled with all your being for what you wanted. Um, that, that concept and principle of desire is, is really uh, wonderful in the book and talked about several times. Um, there's a cute little... Um, there's a cute story here she prays for something and wants something really badly and she says um and what were you praising the lord for child and she says because school is so near out because i got what i was going to pray for before i asked and you think the lord was at the bottom of the thing that makes you happy well you always go to him about what concerns you and say praise the lord when things go to please you i do indeed um but I thought this running short of school funds was a calamity. If I'd been praying about it, I would have asked him to show me a way to raise money to continue until May. And she says, oh, Father, and she begins to cry. And then he consoles her and says, oh, you don't have to go to school anymore until they get back in next year because they run out of funds this year and she can't go back to school. That's what she was praying for. And then she found out, school's going to let out. I don't have to go. And she's going to pray for it. And so he consoles her and says, oh, you don't have to go back the rest of the year. And she says, now, say the Lord doesn't help those who call on him in faith believing. So it's got all those Christian values and foundations, but it also has a lot of funny stories and interesting characters. She's good at fleshing out real life characters. Um, I think she was good at that anyway. Great authors do that, but also because... They're real people that she really knew, and so she talked about who they really were. So anyway, Laddie, Gene Stratton Porter, love it, enjoy it. See you next time. <laughs>